Hey, hey, Tony Cash is here. Y'all gotta forgive my joke. Popping in late. I, I got me a little lesson tonight. I I'm, I got a suit on. You can't really see it because I was driving my son in our Sprinter. Him and his friends. I just dropped them off. They were they were back there, and I can't remember how five, six of them or whatever for homecoming tonight. I'm almost home, headed home, and just dropped him off at his friend's house. They got the little after party, and you know, my, my son is a very confident young man, got a lot of personality, a lot of little flair to him. You either love him or you hate him. <laughs> He's just that type of person. <laughs> You're gonna love him or you hate him. He probably ain't no real in-between, and of course, me being his father, I kill for him, I die for him. Not probably wouldn't lie for him, but I I kill for him or die for him. And you know, we I'm very strict on him. So seeing him with his friends and having a good time, and they listen, they love music, and the music is terrible. You know, you know the music these kids listen to is terrible. But it's just one of them things to where. I've learned my lesson, and this is why I try to tell some of y'all, too, who get so with your draws in a wad with your kids. It's like you kind of got to let them live a little bit, and it just it did my heart good to see him living in front of me because he know I'm strict, <laughs> and, and he know I get with him. You know, he, he, he know I don't play the radio, but to see him having a good time laughing and playing around and doing you know they rapping their little song word for word and all of that right there and you know i'm a devout man of faith but one thing i i want to, i want to remind y'all of is a lot of time the pastor's kids is the worst ones and that's because in the church a lot of times you don't let the kids get to know christ for themselves you don't let them explore the world and build a relationship with christ themselves you just force everything on them and that's something that i had to learn you know it's something that i'm learning and something that it's not easy but i see how these pastors you know I done seen so many pastors' daughter get pregnant as a teenager. So many sons, pastor's sons is gay. Daughters, you know, gay, which is against what the pastor be talking about. And we see a lot of celebrity Christians, you know, talking about they kids. Is the win against the Lord And I think it's just not letting them Experience, not letting them learn Not letting them Grow Y'all gotta forgive me I just, I gone in the house, my wife, she tired So I'm, I just was texting her Asking her if she need me to Give her a back massage or a foot massage Or make her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich Every night I make her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich She love peanut butter and jelly at night I don't know why But, but it's our little tradition now so I ain't gonna be on here but a few more minutes and four more minutes. And it just, you know, and I was thinking, I'm like, man, thinking about all the parents. Now, now I will say it's some parents that let their kid go too far and do too much. Like I'm not, I'm not the type of parent to where I want to smoke weed with my child or drink alcohol with my child and all of that nah but just him cutting the food you know laughing joking playing having a good time with his friends and them just cracking their little jokes and listening their little music and just seeing him be himself and seeing him not have to like shrink and pretend and be afraid of me and just be able to just 
let loose and have fun. You know, that it, it was a blessing. And ironically, the after party is in our neighborhood. So it's literally around the corner. His, his classmate live in our neighborhood. And so they just go over there and get in the pool. And they, they don't, you know, the parents at the house and everything. So I'm gonna have somebody, he got a car, but he still haven't had, our, the way our schedule is, he ain't had the time to learn how to drive, and he didn't had his car over a year now, about a year and a half. So I've been driving it because my windshield got a crack on it, and I still don't get it fixed until Monday. So I've been driving his car every day. And so it just really hit me, and, and I wanted to share that with the parents, just something that I'm learning, because I know sometimes we can be, so hard on our kids, so strict on our kids. And I agree that you should have rules and regulations. You should have clarity, consistency, and also consequences in addition to the rewards. And my son, he had to plug his phone up in my room every night. So I, I say that to put it in perspective that just because he feel comfortable having a good time and while or not with his friends in front of me while I'm their chauffeur. And, but he also have boundaries and guidelines that he have to live by. And just me showing love and showing lessons to him because, you know, my son, he knows who I am online and who I am in the world. And his friends know that too. And he know I got the money to rent a rent him a party bus or a limousine or whatever, or hire a driver to drive our sprinter. But I'm serving them tonight. And that showed them young men humility. That no matter how big you get in your career or what you doing, you still got to be humble. They got to see that firsthand tonight. And it's it's lessons everything you do, everything you say, every single day is lessons to be taught to our children. And we got to be mindful of that with that next generation. That make sure you hands on, make sure you talking to your kids, make sure you active, make sure you're in their life, make sure that you... You know, serving them too and building with them. Y'all gotta forget me. I had to get my little papa. <laughs> had to, while I wait, I said, Well, I need me a little son. Hey, but God bless you. Keep your head up. I just wanted to pop on here just because I ain't get to shoot a video today. Just a little, just me being consistent. Just showing you about that consistency, what we talked about. You know, when you trying to do something. You might not be able to do an hour workout every day. Get your strong 15 minutes in if that's all you got. But, hey, God bless you. Make sure I got my key. And we'll talk soon.